as you work along further with Camtasia projects, you might want to learn more about ripple edit options, which makes things much more easier and much more faster. So over here, if you were to go around and let's say, for example, you want to delete this particular clip, you hit delete and then you have to go along and then join this out later on manually. But, but let's do this. Let's use something called the ripple delete option. So in order to do that, simply click on the clip that you want to delete and hold control and then delete. And what happens is that uh, that uh, clip is deleted, but the gap has been filled out just like that. So that is something that is handy to know. You can also press control backspace and that does the same thing as well. Let me just press control Z to get the clip back out right there. Another option that you have is uh, ripple split. So that is you can take your cursor anywhere just like this. And what you can do is you can hold shift on your keyboard and click and drag it. So what it does is it trims out this particular area just like that. So you can press this, press control Z and let's get back onto the area just like that. You can also ripple trim. So what you can do is you can click on this green icon right here, just like this, so this little green box, click and drag it and you can set something like in, in an out point with your uh, timeline head, your cursor head just like this. And if you were to press control backspace just like that, that area has been deleted for good. Press control Z again, you can see right here. So let's say for example, I want to delete this area, press control backspace and that particular area has been deleted out just like that. You can go around here and click and drag it back just like that to get it back onto a playhead just like that. So these are the different options that you have. You can also go around and do the ripple move. Let's say for example, if you want to move this out, you can hold uh, shift and then click and drag and you can see that it actually pushes out the uh, clip that is over here. If I were to click and drag it without pressing any button, nothing happens. But if I were to hold shift, it actually drags out. If I were to let go of the shift, the clip moves individually as you can see. But if it is joined in and if I were to hold shift, now I can bring everything back together. So if I want to make space to add in a clip right here, I can hold shift, click and drag and everything moves along. I can move this individually or if I want to move everything all at once, I can hold shift and drag it out just like that. And that is how you can ripple move as well. Another thing that you can do is, of course, if you have the magnet turned on, you can turn this on and click and drag it out just like this. Or what you can do is hold shift on your keyboard and then click and drag and it acts as the magnet is turned on just like that temporarily. So if you were to click and drag it just like that, nothing happens. But if I were to hold shift and click and drag it, if I were to hold shift and click and drag, it works like a magnet just like that. And those are the ripple effects that you can work with on your Camtasia timeline to make your work process much more faster and easier. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.